just announced from Kings Island is a brand new GCI wooden roller coaster coming in April of 2017. We knew something was going on in the woods of Rivertown and coming next year is Mystic Timbers. So it's time to get to the analysis. But before we begin, just note that if you want to find all these videos and photos of the ride that you are seeing in this video, you can find it on Kings Island's website. Full credit for all of this goes to the park for creating it. But let's get to the breakdown. It'll be 109 feet tall with a 97 foot tall drop, have 3,265 feet of track, it'll reach a top speed of 53 miles per hour, and it will have 16 airtime hills. That is crazy. So to compare it to Racer, Racer has a lot of the floater airtime hills. A lot of these hills look smaller. This coaster is going to stay low to the ground, and this is going to have loads of ejector air. Plus, it looks nonstop fun from start to finish. It really never lets up. In addition, this coaster will also set the record for the most wooden roller coasters in one park. Kings Island will have five wooden coasters. Mystic Timbers, The Beast, The Racer, which is actually two roller coasters, don't forget, and Woodstock Express. And that also means that they have the most wooden coaster track in one park with over 18,000. So let's get to talking about this thing. What do I think? I really like it. I think this has the potential to be one of the best GCI coasters out there. Currently, my favorite GCI is Gold Striker, but this looks really good. I like how it's going to go out into the woods and over the lagoon. It's just completely surrounded by trees. You look like you're going to be flying. And when it slams into the brakes, it approaches this building, which apparently has something inside of it that we do not know, and the park is not going to tell us until the ride opens. They're using hashtag what's in the shed. I know lots of ideas are being thrown around there. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like a vertical track drop like for Bolton, but we're not going to know until they announce it. But supposedly the park isn't going to tell us until the ride opens, so we can do nothing but speculate now. I've also heard ideas tossed around like a projection screen, or maybe some sort of lights and sound and fog effects, but I'm sure whatever it is will be really cool. They wouldn't hype it up like this unless it were awesome. So I think overall, this looks like it's going to be a really good roller coaster. 109 feet isn't super tall, but a lot of these GCIs aren't hugely tall. They stayed low to the ground on purpose. This thing is going to be one huge adrenaline rush, so I don't have a problem with that 109 feet or 97 foot drop. Really what this looks like is a souped up Prowler. If you look at Prowler, Prowler is 102 feet tall with an 85 foot drop, and that thing goes 51 miles per hour. So the stats are very similar to Mystic Timbers. So if you've run Prowler, chances are you can expect this to be pretty similar, but Mystic Timbers, my guess, will be a bit better. And that brings us to the layout of this coaster. The layout that was leaked a while ago did turn out to be correct, and now we know how it will fit in the park. We know where the lift hill is, we know what the drop is, and we know where the station is. I think it'll be really cool to see how this coaster plays out. It looks like you're going to get a great view of Diamondback from the top of the lift hill. And what they talked about during the announcement is that the best view you're going to get of this coaster is from Whitewater Canyon, which I think is going to be really cool. I don't know how much of it you'll be able to see in the queue line or if you're going to see tons of it just during the ride, which if that's the case, getting footage of this coaster is going to be kind of difficult. But let's talk about the name, Mystic Timbers. It's not the best name, but it's also not the worst. I've certainly heard names that I've disliked more than this. And when I think Mystic Timbers, I also think of Shivering Timbers. Which, I mean, when you think about it, Shivering Timbers isn't that great of a name either. I think we're going to warm up to it, and we're just going to get used to it. I mean, at first, I didn't like the name Val Raven, but I've gotten used to it, and so now it doesn't seem that bad of a name to me. I imagine that would be the same with Mystic Timbers. That being said, the logo doesn't look that great either, so I'm going to be interested in seeing how they do the front entry sign, because Cedar Fair is known for doing these awesome entryways, so it'll be cool to see what they do with the entry sign. So some of us may not like the name, but as usual with all Cedar Fair rides, there's got to be a story with it. This is the story of Mystic Timbers as on King's Island's website. Rivertown's beginning was the formation of the KI and Miami Valley Railroad in the Miami River Lumber Company. The lumber company began buying large sections of wooded land with the goal of using the railroad to make it easier to ship the timber out. But something mysterious, something that could not be explained, began to happen. The area surrounding the lumber company became overrun with Medusa-like growth of vines as nature moved in and reclaimed its land. Now we saw something similar to this in the announcement video that King's Island released, which I'm not sure how I feel about their announcement video. Not that it really matters, it's always just something kind of cool to introduce the ride. 
was probably one of my least favorite announcement videos. I thought Banshees was one of the best, and this one just didn't seem that great. But really, the ride looks awesome, so it really doesn't matter that much. And before I wrap up the video, one final thing to mention is that Kings Island has stated that this is not going to be the only thing coming to the park next year. They said that there will be another announcement later this year, around late August. I have no idea what it might be, maybe a family ride, maybe a thrill ride, we have no idea, but make sure to stay tuned for that because clearly Mystic Timbers is not the only thing that is coming to Kings Island in 2017. So those are all of my thoughts for Mystic Timbers. Let me know what you think of this new roller coaster coming to Kings Island. Are you excited for it? I know I certainly am. It looks to be a great roller coaster. So as usual, if you're new to Coaster Studios, make sure to subscribe. And as more parks begin to announce their new roller coasters, I'll be sure to do analysis of them. So make sure to stay tuned for those, and I will catch you guys next time.